Good morning, friends. It is time at this part of the morning for us to take a look at, a, at an invention. As we say on the show here, everything had to start somewhere. And this morning, it's the microwave oven, the microwave oven. And uh, <clears throat> I got to tell you, let's face it. We all take it for granted. You know, we all do. Everybody's got a microwave. They're, I don't know how much they are. I, there was a point where you could get a free microwave for opening up a bank account someplace. Uh, Percy Spencer is generally credited with inventing the modern microwave oven after World War II from radar technology developed during the war. It was called, in fact, the Radar Range. It was first sold in 1946. Raytheon licensed its patents for a home-use microwave oven that was first introduced by Tappan in 1955, but nobody bought them. Nobody bought them. They were huge and very expensive. The uh, Finally, about 1967 or 68, Amana started putting them out. They were big enough uh, for, or small enough for you to have at your home and eventually commercial and residential kitchens. But, uh, you know, so anyway, there's the microwave oven for you. I have to tell you, I, I have to tell you this personal story about a microwave oven. Uh, my dad had a, mom and dad had a grocery store in Sydney for 25, 30 years on on Main Street. And dad was always an innovator. He was always looking for something. He had the first donut machine in Sydney. He had the first deep fried pressure chicken in Sydney. He had the first salad by the pound in Sydney. He had the first sub sandwiches in Sydney and all that stuff. Uh, and he had the first microwave oven, the first commercial microwave oven in Sydney. And I remember it. And uh, it was like his biggest investment. We only had a small two-aisle grocery store. But he, he bought a microwave oven, I'm going to say around 1966. Uh, 1967, it was huge. Uh, and uh, I rem all of us gathered, uh, my mom and dad and all my siblings, when the microwave oven was distributed, uh, and brought to the uh, store in the back door, and we all watched it, and we were, like, frightened of it. Was it going to give us cancer or what? And a man actually came with the oven to tell us how to use it. And uh, and he, I remember distinctly say, saying, you don't want to put any metal in this microwave oven. And then I remember as he was describing it, I thought, what, will it blow up? Will the store burn down? Will Don Supermarket be obliterated from Main Street in Sydney? So it was kind of scary. And it was big. It was very, very big. But it was it was kind of cool to put stuff in there and, bzzz, you know, zap it and around it would go. There was a piece of glass that you had to lay things on. And the guy said, don't break this glass because if you have to order another one, it was like $100 for the piece of glass. And it was all very, very uh, impressive. The brand new microwave oven. And nobody had one in Sydney. And people, this is not a joke. I would have been 16, 15, 16 years old. People came to the grocery store to watch it work. It's true. They would come in. I remember seeing them to this day. You know, put something in there. Well, why don't you buy something? And... <laughs> And we'll go ahead and put it in the microwave for you. And they would, and they'd watch it. And they put a cold hot dog in, you know, and around it would go, and it would come out hot. And everybody would go, ooh, ah. And uh, it was it was unbelievable, the reaction to it. And uh, it sounds kind of silly now, but it wasn't. When we had the first commercial microwave oven uh, in Sydney, and uh, it was a big deal. I don't know how much it set my dad back, but I'm sure it set him back, uh, you know, his entire year's profits uh, at the store. Uh, but he wanted it. He wanted it, and he wanted to be first. And uh, we had a lots of, I mean, we, we, we were microwaving everything at the time, and people would come in and, and uh, you know, order a ham and cheese a sub and ask for it to be microwave because it wanted they wanted it warm and melted and and it was like going to a carnival, going to a midway, just to go down to Don Supermarket in 1966 <laughs> and watch the microwave oven go around and around and around, unbelievable. So anyway, that is our invention for today. Happy birthday to the microwave oven. Think of all the great.
Hopkin. And uh, those were the days, my friend. Good morning, everybody. I am Big Chuck. Hopefully you know who you are as we crank right along in here. And don't forget to visit us online at cnynews.com. Good morning, friends, and welcome to a Friday morning in America. Jesus is gonna take my soul Walk through darkness I don't need no light My faith in Jesus gonna be my guide You see, I ain't afraid of nothing Jesus gonna take my soul Rivers rising but I got no doubt My sweet Savior's gonna pull me out You see, I ain't afraid of nothing because over me, you 